The wife guy left the Try Guys group, so who is Ned Fulmer and why is he been kicked out? Luckily, the mystery has been solved, so today we're going to share all the details in this video regarding the group's breakup. Stay with us till the end to learn about the clash that led the famous guys to parting ways. Let's begin. Firstly, are the Try Guys becoming a trio? The Try Guys, a YouTube channel known for its series of comedic, culinary, and entertainment stunt films, is now a trio. Ned Fulmer was recently confirmed as leaving the group. This includes Eugene Lee Yang, Zach Kornfield, and Keith Habersberger. Ned Fulmer is also no longer employed by the Try Guys, according to a message on the official Instagram account. After consideration, we cannot see a way to move forward jointly. We appreciate your assistance as we make this transition. The report follows many days of claims that the gang are engaging in an internal fight. Fulmer verified the news after the official Try Guys release, stating it was because of the friendship with a co-worker. He also expressed his regrets to Ariel Fulmer, his wife, and the mother of their two children. Family should always come first, but Fulmer lost focus and developed a close working connection. Quote, I apologize for any harm my actions may have brought to the boys, the fans, and especially Ariel. However, my marriage and my kids are the only thing that count right now, so I'm going to concentrate on them. Up next, what do you need to know about the group? As suggested by their name, the group is well recognized for being a group of adventurous guys. The Try Guys gained enormous fame for their BuzzFeed videos. They attempted tasks as little as baking bread without a recipe, and as prominent as sled racing across an Alaskan glacier. The Try Guys, who quit the media company in 2018 to start their own production company, have received accolades for their creative video concepts and what appears to be genuine respect for their following. The Try Guys are the hosts of the Food Network series No Recipe Road Trip, where the group visits restaurants all across the country and makes an effort to make their distinctive dishes without using a recipe. They've been nominated for multiple streaming awards. Coming right up, how did it all get started? According to many popular Reddit threads, fans started in noticing inconsistencies in the group's recent new work, particularly around Fulmer. Their video intros, which often featured montage images of advertisements featuring all four members, were noticeably devoid of Fulmer images. Additionally, followers started pointing out instances in recent YouTube videos where Fulmer was just left out of the finished product. Fans noted that Fulmer seemed to be cut out of recent films like Try Guys Ruin Chocolate Eclairs and Try Guys Try Stand Up Comedy. Fulmer hasn't appeared on the Posse's Instagram since September 4th. Still, he was also prominently featured in the last three episodes of the Try Guys podcast. The group stated last week that it would discontinue its more regular material rollout in favor of a weekly one video plan. However, longtime viewers appeared to interpret the Try Guys explanation as the new timetable will enable them to concentrate on more extensive holiday material as a further indication of a rift. Thus, these threads became viral when many Reddit users submitted two hazy images of a person they claimed to be Fulmer dancing and kissing with someone they claimed was a producer for Try Guys. In addition, fans noted to Fulmer's reputation as self-described marriage guy and family man, it appears that fans are particularly startled by the alleged infidelity. Ariel, Fulmer's wife, has contributed significantly to the group's programming by frequently appearing in videos and serving as the host of the You Can Sit With Us podcast Try Guys created. Additionally, she and Fulmer co-authored a cookbook with a date night theme. Up next, how was Ariel reacting to the situation? Some admirers even started leaving love for Ariel and requesting Ned to address the claims and comments on the couple's Instagram posts, which said, For the sake of our children, nothing is more important to Ned and me than our family, and we all want right now is for you to respect our privacy. Since then, both Fulmers have restricted their Instagram comments, and none of the Try Guys have reacted to Rolling Stone's request for comment. The formal remarks from Fulmer and the band make it evident that a new edition of the Try Guys is forthcoming. The pals have already survived significant changes in their own lives, such as marriages, coming out announcements, health issues, and childbirth, without experimenting substantial drops in their fan base. But because they were all accomplished as a team, viewers could find it difficult to envision a scenario in which every other original member remains, fans and casual viewers alike are currently clamoring for more info on the Try Guys setting the stage for the inevitable tell-all YouTube videos. The phrase, why I left the Try Guys, does seem catchy. So where do the Try Guys go from here? Now that the group is broken up, we're going to share with you what we know about their brand and business's future. So let's get to it. Fulmer, Yang, Cornfield, and Habersberger founded a company centered on the Try Guys brand after leaving BuzzFeed in 2018. They claimed each member of the second Try LLC company 
company had contributed 25% at the time. Since then, they've expanded that company to now employ over 20 people, have a posh office in LA, and a million dollar brand. All of that is now at risk due to the public focus on Fulmer's incredibly visual departure. It caused both a financial problem and a personal one. According to Habersberger, their employees, quote, don't deserve the bad exposure our brand is now receiving because they did nothing. He referred to them as some of the most talented creative minds in the world. He made it clear that the group's main priority right now is ensuring that their employees feel comfortable and proud going to work. There's no way we could have handled this without them. On top of the business, the Try Guys eventually got a TV show earlier this year. The Food Network's No Recipe Road Trip with the Try Guys premiered that evening on Wednesday, August 30th. They were awarded a nightly primetime slot for presenting the show, which was an official offshoot of their well-liked Without a Recipe series on YouTube. Unfortunately, the final episode was moved to air on the morning of Friday, September 31st, after the scandal broke, essentially burying it on the schedule. No Recipe Road Trip with the Try Guys is unquestionably no longer a priority, regardless of how the show's ratings feared or whether the Food Network intended to renew it for a second season. Up next, why does the position remain available after Ned Fulmer leaves? And the Try Guys after Ned Fulmer is no one. After letting go of one of the original members for more than a week, it appeared that the Try Guys will attempt self-preservation. Zach Kornfield and Keith Habersberger, two-thirds of the remaining Try Guys trio, declared last week they have no intention of taking over for Ned Fulmer. Kornfield said on Thursday's episode of the group's Tripod podcast, it's first since the firing, we will have to new people that come in and out. We obviously already have our bud Queasy, who we love, but I don't want to put the pressure on anyone to say, this is the new Try Guy and he's the replacement. That's unfair to them, he said. Before that, Kornfield claimed that the controversy surrounding Fulmer's departure offered a chance for the well-known YouTube comedy channel to adapt as an opportunity to have the Try Guys be more fluid. He remarked, he sees this. Habersberger, could they can bring more individuals into the mix of their videos by not hiring a new permanent Try Guy figure? It's an excellent chance to let another, including women, non-binary individuals, and people from other backgrounds, ages, body shapes, etc. have their kind of experiences. Therefore, viewers can genuinely develop a new perspective on exciting chances. Lastly, was Ned Fulmer caught cheating before too? A woman has come forward to say that the four months prior to Ned Fulmer being let go by the well-known YouTube group Try Guys, she witnessed him cheating on his wife. In a recent post to her followers on TikTok, TikTok user Bree claimed that she had recently witnessed the former BuzzFeed star having lunch at Castaway in Burbank, California with a lady who wasn't his wife Ariel Fulmer. She uploaded a photo to social media with the remark, tried to warn the wifey, Ariel received a video of Ned according to Bree. The therapist claimed that Ariel ignored her direct messages and may not have even seen them, adding that while initially unsure of whether it was her place to speak up, she now feels right. That's all for today, my friends. What are your views of it? Are you excited to see where the Try Guys will go from here? Share your thoughts with us down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.